members are looking to negotiate a deal that they say will fix a small problem that could get bigger if not addressed. Several railroad intersections downtown are crumbling, leaving drivers when it, with an unexpected bump when they pass over. The city's manager tells me the city is trying to fix the inconvenience. Chances are you don't think twice about them. The sudden jolt that comes with driving over railroad tracks. Right here at Commerce Street is probably the worst because of the volume of traffic. Lee Not Gilmore does. Never, the city manager, along with council members, agrees that the intersections on Commerce, Carroll, and Main Streets are unpleasant. Leaders work with the state's Department of Transportation and the Georgia Southern Railway Company to smoothen out the rough problem. Those repairs included putting asphalt in and trying to smooth out the grade and also extend a little bit the edge of the sidewalk. Gilmore says residents in passing complained about the intersections to council members. That's what made them take a look. Heavy loads and consistent traffic make the crossways punching bags that get worn down. The improvements that DOT made were beneficial. Uh, they just did not completely address the entire project. The problem has decreased, but is still there. So council members are working with the rail company to come up with a solution. The first one would be to remove the material between the rails, get them replaced, leveled, and uh, make sure everything is set there. And then the second would be to approve the approaches to the rails themselves. City leaders say another possibility for them would be to take on the job themselves. While it may be more expensive, they say the project will be completed a lot quicker. While the project may seem cosmetic, Gilmore worries over time, no repairs mean an increased safety risk. It's mostly an inconvenience, and of course if the issue is not addressed, it can wind up being a safety hazard. That's why leaders are looking to address the problem as soon as they can. Gilmore tells me there hasn't been any vehicle issues or accidents because of the intersections. He says the total cost of fixing all three intersections would be somewhere between $110,000 to $112,000. Council is working to put together a timeline to fix the project. Gilmore expects it to be complete by the end of the year.